What's up, YouTube? It's Match Muzan. I'm here with a reaction video. <sighs> I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I've been doing how-to videos lately and stuff like that, self-help videos, so I wanted to switch it up. I was getting a bit tired of that, not gonna lie, so I want to do a quick little reaction video. I might drop a few this week. <sighs> Honestly, I found this channel randomly on my YouTube channel. I was on my channel, on my main channel or whatever, and I'm strolling, and YouTube suggested this... YouTube suggested this channel, so I ended up watching one of her videos, and I was just amazed, so to say. I was genuinely amazed, because I'm like, I've never even seen a female. i never even, i never really seen a female talk like this or act like this or pretty much, you know, project what she projecting. So, the title of this video, the title of her video is Stop Waiting for Life to Get Better. You know what I'm saying? And I like that whole, that whole shebang. I like that. I feel that, and I respect that. So, we're going to... Without further ado, we're going to tap into the video and we're going to log in see what she's talking about. Put my headphones in real quick. For life to unfold, waiting for better times to come to you. Or do you have the same New Year's resolutions but for some reason they can't stick and you don't see any change? Perhaps you think I right can wait for life to unfold, waiting for better times to come to you. Or do you have the same New Year's resolutions, but for some reason they can't stick and you don't see any change? Perhaps you think, oh, life will get better when I have this. Life will get better when I do this. This is not how we want to think. If you continue to think and act in this way, you are actually going to struggle to create that change That's that you desire though. in your life. To actually improve your life, you need to realize nobody is coming to save you. That's a fact, though. And I know, not lying. I know, it's like, ouch, really okay, that hurts, but you're gonna hear it. Nobody's coming to save you. Nobody is coming to get you up in the morning. Nobody is coming to force you to work on your goals. Nobody is coming to craft your mindset for you. Nobody That's really a fact. It is just, it's like, it's really astonishing to, to see a, fem a female talking like this, like, I ain't even write much Buddy, it's your responsibility. You have control over your life. You do. Nobody else, not even the external circumstances that you face within your life. Everything is on you. So stop waiting for your life to get better and start taking some accountability. I love the idea of extreme accountability. The idea that everything in your life is because of you. Something didn't work out, that's on you. You aren't where you want to be in life, that's on you. You didn't hit your fitness goals, your fault. You aren't making as much money as you want, also your fault. Everything is a result of your mindset and your actions. Sure, external circumstances can influence our situations a little bit, but still at the end of the day, everything's up to you. You have the power over your life, not the external circumstances. Those are just things that we have to face. But ultimately, you control how you perceive them, and you control how you react to them. So you are still in control of your life. If you blame external circumstances for the way that your life is, you are handing the power away. You are literally giving away your power. You're like, here, you can you can dictate how my life is. That's offending. You can dictate if. That's really offending. Like your life is in your hands. You did what I'm saying. Like your life is literally in your hands. You got to take control of your life. You know what I'm saying, and. I'm not sure if she was she about to get into all the way, but lately I was having this realization with myself. It's like sometimes I'd be like, yo, once I obtain this, so many times I did this, so many times I done did this, I'd be like, once I obtain this, it's up, it's wraps. Like, you know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. Like I'll be waiting for something in the future to obtain in order for me to live currently. You know what I'm saying? So it's like right now I'ma just ride away. I'ma just ride away until I obtain that one thing in the future. The whole time it don't work that way. It's like I'm waiting and I'm wasting time at the same time. You see what I'm saying? And what she really talking about, too, is, like, no one coming to save you. Like, your life is in your hands, you know what I'm saying? Like, despite your, your circumstances and all that. Because sometimes we get caught in the blame games and all that good stuff. And we be giving our power away. The whole time, the power is within you. You got it. Your mind creates your reality, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you might not have asked to grow up in poverty or you might not have asked to for certain situations or whatever. But you still have the power and the ability to change it. You know what I'm saying? Slowly but surely. You know what I'm saying? It don't happen overnight. Psh. I'm going to be happy or not. That's not an ideal way to think at all. 
It's a powerless way. Ew. It's being victim to life. And who wants to be that? Nobody. Not me, that's for sure. Nobody. You control what you focus on. You control where you put your energy, how you spend your time. And that is enough to create the life that you want. Given a, despite given a long enough time frame, nothing is instant, but you can always work towards building something no matter how big it is. Might take longer, but it's never impossible. That's a fact. Never let nobody put your dreams in a box. Any sort of external circumstance. So the key to having the power back in your hands and actually taking control of your life is to take accountability. Right. I know you might be a little bit hesitant because it's very confronting. Mm -hmm. It's very confronting to say, I'm not happy because of me. Right. I'm actually dissatisfied because of my choices. Right. No matter what, it can hurt. that's the thing, no matter what is going on around you, like no matter if people want fuck shit, people want stupid shit, like, I'm saying, whatever, but no matter what's going on around you, like it's on you, don't blame nobody, bro. Cause if somebody gets you mad or somebody doing some weird shit, you're allowing them to, after a while you're allowing them, like, you know, just saying, first time shame on you, second time shame can't, or second time can't put the blame on you, third time get the chopper, let it rain on you, yeah. But it's very confronting to admit that but you have to if you really want a better life for yourself you have to be real with yourself you have to check yourself you have to say you know what i have been lazy in the past i haven't been working on myself as much as i should be i have been ignoring my needs i have been giving too much energy to these this is how i know i keep pausing the video but this is how you reach your highest level like doing this and it ain't easy like i prefer i mean i suggest doing it and dosages i ain't gonna lie like like when you really had them reflective moments, like, I mean, you reflect every day, but just have certain moments where you like, all right, I'm digging deep. Like, yo, this week or today, I'm digging deep. Like, I'm really gonna do what I wasn't doing. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, take it day by day, but like, taking the dosages. These toxic people. I have been waiting on external circumstances to make me happy. I have actually been creating my own dissatisfaction in my life. You have to own up to these things and you have to take accountability for it. Otherwise, nothing will change and you will keep waiting for other things to make you happy, whether it be situations or people. So if you are dealing with a sense of lack right now, don't mope and hope for things to get better. It is your responsibility to take control of this situation. It's your responsibility to do the necessary self-reflection. Identify what it is that you actually need right now. Create a plan of how you are going to get that, how you're going to get to where you need to be, and then follow through with the action. That is all your responsibility. And if you don't do that, then you are choosing to stay unhappy. You are choosing to stay dissatisfied, but you need to lead yourself through this process and support yourself through this process. Love yourself enough to not only want better for yourself, but to say, you know what? I'm going to go create better for myself. I don't like my life right now. I love myself enough right. to go and-, and That's cool, like you gonna have these moments cause I be having these moments where I'm like, yo, like I'm not cool with my life. I'm not cool with where I'm at, like I'm not. And that shit made me so mad cause I'm like, yo, I don't like none of this shit. But at the same time, use that feel for your fire. Use that feel to make change. Don't just sit there and angry. Use that stuff to get farther, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, it, it doesn't happen overnight. Just keep going. 1% each day, 1% each day. Create the life that I want to live. I don't like how I'm feeling, I don't like this. I'm going to go change it right. because I deserve better. Right. It really does come from love. I think if you are moving from a place of hatred for your current life situation, it can be effective, but it's not exactly sustainable. What happens when those circumstances change and you have momentary happiness? Will you just stop trying to push for better then? I think it's much more sustainable if you do it out of love for yourself. And I have one last thing to say. Don't settle for a mediocre life experience. Don't settle for something Thanks. just because it's convenient, just because it's working, Thanks. you're like, it's okay, you know, I'm doing fine. No, life should be <laughs> such no. an enjoyable experience <laughs> for you. No. Of course we have our ups and our downs, but you should feel peaceful, you should feel fulfilled. You deserve to live a life that feels good and you deserve to feel good in yourself, in your own mindset as well. And it's okay if you don't feel that way right now, but nothing is stopping you from working towards that. So stop waiting for your life to get better. There's no need to wait. Go create the change that you want. You are perfectly capable of doing so and you deserve to. Anyway, that is all that I have to say for mm. today. That's a Philly though, shout out to her. I'm gonna show her page real quick. 
Her channel is Shantae Tranquilly. I think I said that right. I don't know, but you know what I'm saying shout out to her. Like I said the other day, I was on YouTube just trolling or whatever. Because as you can see from these two videos right here that I don't watch, I watch these completely. But she, I guess they just do her in the algorithm. You know what I'm saying and she belongs because she really talking. She talking some real talk. So shout out to her. You know what I'm saying, but at the end of the day, stop waiting for life to get better. Go out there and uh, make it better. Smack a three. You know what I'm saying smack a three from the D. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Shantae, I'm about to smack a three from the deep here. <laughs> Alright, that's that.